Hi guys, this video is about um, how to make a watercolor popsicle. So let me start. This is uh, a normal watercolor paper. It is not like a super expensive one or a very thick one. So you can use any watercolor paper. And uh, I have taken some plain water and normal watercolor cakes this is something that i got for my son when i was in india it's camel brand but you can use any brand uh crayola will work uh, absolutely fine so i'll show you how to do it first i'm i'm using wet on wet technique because uh, i like watercolors to be more transparent uh, if you make it thick it is almost like uh, doing a poster paint or uh, doing it a poster paint or acrylic or some other paints so this one i am making a u shape a long u shape you know the popsicle shape right in the same way so if you'll see like this you may not be seeing but if i yeah tilt it a little you see the shine right so you have to get that shine and make sure you are covering the entire part because i'm not drawing it's little difficult to see that uh, you know where i have applied water even for me it is little difficult but i'll put it in a slanting position to see if i have done well like uh, the shape and if i have filled completely so there are a lot of their tips and a lot of techniques in watercolor uh, this one video will not cover everything but uh, these are some tips I am completely making sure everything is covered and I'll add a little more water here to make sure I get that transparent effect. So one more thing is I did not clean my uh, palette. So you should have a clean palette. I am just removing this off and I'll take a tissue. So uh, I've cleared one area. You should always keep your palette neat and clean. So I'm making say a strawberry flavored one. So it will be something in pink this one is it's crimson this color is called crimson reddish uh, pink to this i'll add more water it's always good to take the color and put it uh, in the palette and then put it on your paper so see when i add little color it's spreading really well I'll take it near the, the outline. See, wherever if you feel that uh, the ice cream should be lighter, the popsicle should be lighter on one side, then add very little color. And if you want it to be darker on one side, then add more. But do it gradually don't do at once it's always good to add one layer and then keep building on it okay now i'll again take a little more add here if so here there is you don't make it light by adding white into it you add water and use less paint to make it light 
so if you see here it is dark say I want it to be light I will add little more water maybe even little more water then this is light okay so I'm just filling it sometimes you want this texture if you I'll bring it closer to the camera so this kind of texture sometimes you want it then you can leave it like that for now i'm just blending it out but i'm trying to leave little white gaps so that it will look more uh, translucent or transparent like eyes i'm taking little water and adding here and there So if you have a hair dryer, if you will dry it at this stage, it will be good. Your work will be faster. I'm trying to make it little darker on this side. I'm like assuming that light is falling from uh, this, this corner and I'm making it little darker this side. I am not like painting the uh, continuously moving my brush up and down. I am just dabbing. That's the kind of effect I want for popsicle. Okay. I am adding little more. And it also uh, depends on the climate. Uh, if you are doing your painting in summer, it will dry off very fast. And sometimes you may not get the effect that you want. So you have to be fast in um, winter, in uh, summers. And in winter, uh, it won't dry pretty soon. So you may need uh, um, the uh, blow dryer or a hot gun to, that is used for drying. So this side I want it to be more dark. If you want, you can also add little blue into it and add the, on this side to make it uh, look even darker. But right now I let it dry. Meanwhile, I'll play, uh, paint the stick. So for the stick also, uh, for stick you don't need to do wet and wet. I'm taking little color. This is like yellow ochre. Yellow ochre is uh, a very beautiful color. It looks almost like uh, a very light shade of sandal. So I'm filling it out. See, because my, my popsicle was not completely dry, that pink color has uh, slightly slid. It has seeped into this part but it's okay I don't want it to be like super perfect or something and if I want it like that then I'll just dab on it and remove this has given little texture also here but sometimes this that pink coming into the uh, yellow yellow ochre also adds little beauty so if you don't like it, you can always use a technique called lifting the color and remove it. Right now I won't do that because I like the color, but I'll uh, definitely show you how to do that. So I want it to be darker on this side, the same thing. So I'll take little more color, put it on the palette and again add it here. Okay. you'll see that I did not make it come like drastically dark it, sh it should be done gradually and always try to blend it a little so this edge has to be blended well and now I'll make it little more dark 
for doing that i'll take little brown you will see i am like using very little color this one can you be this palette this palette and these colors can be used like for hundreds of paintings so i am adding very little just to give a shade or the shadow you can add little more meanwhile i see that this has dried up a little see this is a normal simple painting so i did not uh, do any you know the professional stuff that uh, we have to do like i did not tape it onto any board or anything that's why this has become little you know uh, it has swollen but if you'll tape it to a nice cardboard thick one uh, or any pad then uh, it will be even better i'll show you in another video but uh, now what i'll do is i'll add two kind of strips here which will give a nice you know um, like a, it will start looking more realistic so this is a little dark than what i want but uh, i'll anyhow i have to show you lifting the color technique so it's okay see make make straight lines if you have trouble you know drawing the shape and all you are always welcome to do very light drawing with the pencil and then do this part the painting part but uh, if you are okay um handling the brush then try to do without lot of watercolor paintings they have a, a outline also with a black uh, pen uh, so uh, both ways it's beautiful see i am taking very little water when i take water i don't dip into the uh, container i just try to pick one droplet from somewhere and see i am just spreading it out okay i'm using the same color to make this one also a little thick and this also okay now here what i'll do is i'm i'll show you the lifting the color technique this is only brush with water no paint at all i'll go over here and lift it and then i'll use a tissue and remove the excess then again i'll go see when i go when my brush goes through that place it lifts the color so that is called lifting the color technique I'm lifting more. Okay. I will add little color to this edge, this side. Okay. I'm adding here also. I'll wash my brush. I'll spread it a little. I'm lifting color again. Now, this is somewhat the way I want. It's little, little bit darker than what I want, but I think it will dry. When it will dry, it will be fine. So I'll make this side also more dark. I'll add little water to this. See, I have like used very little paint and it lasts for 
entire painting So I'm adding a shadow here. I'm taking very less color and going over this part. I'm kind of, you know, blending it. I will just use plain brush without water. Uh, I'm sorry, without paint. And, you know, just blend it in here there should not be any sharp edges if i feel it is little it it can be little more dark i can add little more pink on the color so try this in different colors it will all be a good practice and also it they really look beautiful i like uh this kind of you know painting making translucent effect the same effect can be used for making flowers and different things okay these days uh, you know uh, watercolors you'll see a lot of people doing this technique after the entire painting is done i'm adding a lot of water to my color i'm holding my brush and it's better when you do it uh, after it dries completely. But uh, see. I'm putting my finger here and just hitting. Uh, just tapping. I'm not hitting actually. Uh, some big drops. Some small ones. You can also use one or two colors, like the good complementing complementing color to this pink is uh, purple or violet. So I'll add a little pink and I'm adding little blue into it. Just add here and then try to mix in. Mm, you need little more blue. So this is a good purple. I'll add a little purple also. So you can also add uh, some text here. I'm using the same brush, but uh, you can always use a pen or anything like 